Yo, what's good guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome to a video that I didn't think I'd be making for a good few days. But today is Taco Tuesday. These spotlights have been completed. All 30 gauntlet challenges done and done. Invincible Taco Fall is home. And oh my god, he is ridiculous. Uh, so we're going to open up him in the pack. I filmed that earlier. I've already used him, but I do have that footage. So you'll see that in video, the uh, unboxing and the walkout animation of Taco 4. We're going to badge him out as well. I've put one half badge on him already, but we've got two more that go on him. And we've got to put plenty of gold badges on him nonetheless. I've already put some Kobe shoes on him because why the hell not? It's Taco 4. Let's ball out. And of course, I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I beat the challenge. I'm going to tell you guys the team, my tactics, and then tomorrow I'll have highlights from that game. And then Thursday, I'm going to start with the full game. If you guys want to see that, then do let me know or drop a like on the video or something. If you want to see the full game, it'll be like 25 minutes long, obviously five minute quarter game. Just every single possession, offensive and defensive of that game to see how I completed it. Um, because it only took me four tries. I'm sorry if that triggers some people, but it only took me four attempts to get it. And only three attempts today. Uh, and we got it down. Really, we had it down after the third attempt and we only lost by three. Fourth attempt, it came through in the clutch. Now today, we've got... Two decent packs to open up, Team Pantheon USA Deluxe and an Idols Steph Curry pack from the weekly challenges, so we're going to open those up. And also, tomorrow is the final Idol Series 3 player, but, but, but I've got no Idol Series 3 players left. That's right everybody, I've made a business decision to sell off everybody. Now, am I still going for Nikola Jokic? Yes. I know that sounds pretty dumb after selling them all off, but there's method to my madness. Two cards have already sold, and we've got them to cash in. One of them is a big W, one of them is a monumental L, uh, and the other two are currently up on the auction house right now, so we'll talk about that in the video as well. So it's going to be a very good video, plenty to go on here. If you guys are excited, make sure you drop a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, and a shout-out to the goats of the channel for their support. Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Liam, Josh, Kieran, and Trevor. What a day it has been. So, yeah, nothing to show here apart from the fact that Gauntlet Challenges are now... Done. Oh my god. So we'll do the spotlights after we talk about the idol set. But yeah, we got this challenge done. Easy 50 point game. This one is three full games, which is long, not gonna lie. But we had Taco, and I used Taco in all three of those games, and he just did make it very, very fun. Right, let's open up these three packs. We've got a flash six pack, which was actually yesterday's login, and I just forgot to open it up, I guess. But anyway, we move. There is Galaxy Opal Hakeem in here. But not in there, he's not. And then we've got two packs. So we'll open up the Idol Steph one first. Now, if we could pull a Steph, that'd be great. <laughs> if we could pull a Steph, that'd be fantastic. And the Pantheon Team USA Deluxe. So, obviously, a guaranteed shake. Guaranteed Opal at worst. <clears throat> Why would you do this? Guaranteed Opal at worst. Um, but, obviously, we want to see a Dark Matter. And still, to this day, no Dark Matters out of those Pantheon USA packs. And I must have opened up about 28 now. Uh, with a few from Locker Codes and whatnot. And uh, the free free pack that we got on current gen and next gen if you logged in over the weekend. We must be at about like 28-ish. Still no dark, batter, dark matters. Is that going to change right now? Let's find out. And it doesn't change at all. It's, st it's still a, a, a Gallic Show Ball. It took me a little while to find it. There's only five cards to look at and I struggled to find it. It's been a long day today, everybody. We've done this challenge. It took an immense amount of concentration, but we did manage to get it done. Um, we get a Clyde the Glide here. It's 5,000 MT. So I played three five-minute quarter games for, uh, for 5,000 MT. It is what it is. Right, let's talk about idols. Then we'll talk about Taco. So I had Steph. I had Kawhi. I had Dirk. And I had Embiid. So Embiid this morning was selling. There was one that was up. And it sold for 300,000 MT. And I was like, you know what? I wouldn't mind 300,000 MT from Embiid. I'm pretty sure he's going to go down in price. I found a two-hour window to drop him into. And he sold at about 5 p.m. my time, um, which is about 1 p.m. Eastern time. So lunchtime, Eastern, prime time, uh, EU. It had two hour window on its own. It sold for under 200k. It hurts me to even say. 188,000 MT. And then tonight, we saw one sell for 250k. So uh, got absolutely screwed on Embiid. It is what it is. As for old man Dirk, we've got a very nice window. He's up for sale right now, but we've got him in a very nice window in between here. And you guys will see that in a second. Kawhi, only just been put up. But again, we've got a nice window we've dropped him into. And I believe we've dropped him in between... Oh, God, there's been so many listed up after me. That's so frustrating. I think I'm here. 
I think I'm in between here. I am in between there. And there's been three listed up in like five minutes after me. That sucks. And as for Chef Curry, he has sold. Now, earlier today, there was one that sold for 600,000 MT. And that one was the one before ours. So the one before mine sold for 600k. My one, not quite 600k, but 500k. Oh my days. We've got a lot of MT, and I should probably talk about these packs as well. Uh, so the packs that came out today, Season Rewind packs. We pulled Marcus Morris Senior and two of each Zoo batches, and I believe that's it. So we'll cash those two guys, or those three guys in. The packs weren't great, I'm not going to lie. We didn't get any Dark Matters, and even if you get Dark Matters, it doesn't really matter. Jimmy, who was in the chat, he pulled the very first boogie. The very first boogie. And he got 160k. 160k, oh, that's mental cheap. Like, no cards have value. Blake wouldn't have any value. Lamar Odom, no. Boogie, clearly not. Dr. J, no. Kyrie, definitely not. And the two new, Jamal Murray and Spencer Dinwiddie. So, yeah, we opened up 10 of these today. We got the three shakes, and then we got a Diamond Series 3 card. So, four shakes, but two pink diamonds, one opal. It wasn't great. It really wasn't great. But uh, as for this MT right here, oh boy, there's a lot. So, Kobe Bryant. I had great fun using this Kobe card, not going to lie, but he's only going to get cheaper. KD as well. Didn't really like him as much, uh, but still very good. But again, still going to get cheaper. So, bye, see you later. Embiid. Oh, it, it hurts. It really hurts. Under 200k. That sucks, but this one feels good. 500k for Steph Curry. We take those. And then these are the uh, the departures from the gold challenge. And uh, you might notice one of them sticks out a little bit. One of them sticks out a little bit. And you might think that's absolutely ridiculous. Why would anybody pay that for a gold card? But all you've got to do is look at gold buddy healed. And this card right now is selling for about 80,000 MT. Like solidly. There was one that sold a few minutes ago for 220k. 220,000 MT on a gold card. The same price as like invincible cards. Like it's absolutely absurd. So he's yeah, crazy expensive. And these cards that are needed for this uh, final challenge. Well not final challenge but the gold challenge. Yeah, they go up in price. So yeah these are the guys that I use. And uh, yeah this was me selling them all off. Because obviously we're done with them. We don't need them no more. So Roko getting 16k is very nice indeed. Uh, and Hamadou Diallo getting 72k is just. Um, that, that's something isn't it. That is something. And after we cash him in, I think we're at 2.75 million MT. We might even push 2.8 mil here, everybody. And we've still got Dirk. And we've still got Kawhi to sell. Oh, my God. So 2.77 mil. Jesus. And let's have a look at those Kawhi and Dirk cards. So Dirk with two hours flat. Two hours flat left on Dirk. So this one's about to end. This one in seven minutes. This one in half an hour. And then it's us. And we're the only one for an hour and a half. Because this is going to take off half an hour. There'll be an hour and a half where we're the only card up. And then there's half an hour after our card as well. So this Dirk is in absolute prime position. So fingers crossed he sells something good. 335 on Kawhi. As we just saw, he was dropped into a very, very nice window. It seems like we've been screwed now. So 335 on him. Uh, we've got a 30 minute window after this one. But then we've got... Three that are right behind us, which uh, which does suck. But we've got a nice window where we're the first one. So, yeah. No idea what they're going to sell for. Fingers crossed they're going to sell for something. And the reason for me selling this is because I, I just see them all coming down in price very quickly and buy a lot. Realistically, Steph should be two, 300k. Kawhi, he's not an invincible card. 200k. Dirk, invincible card, 250, 300k. And a beach should be like 100k. Because this final card here is probably going to make this set cost about a million MT anyway. Maybe a little bit more depending on who this final card is going to be. So this set could cost you like one and a half mil regardless if this card's like 500k on its own. So a million MT between these four cards, 250k each on average. That's where I can see them going. So I'm selling them right now, but I'm still going for Nikola Jokic. As dumb as that sounds, we're still going for Nikola Jokic. We're just going to wait and see what happens tomorrow. And I think, you know, with season nine around the corner, 10 days to go next Friday, season nine... I think they're going to come down in price and we'll be able to pick them up for like a fraction of what we've just sold them for. So let's talk the gold challenge, shall we? Uh, this is the remains of the squad. Pretty bare bones, not going to lie. So first things first, the coach. Amethyst Mike D'Antoni. Huge. Nice boost of speed. You can see what it did to uh, Rudy Gay. It kind of did that to all the players. So driving out mid-range three and speed. Um, absolutely fantastic. I think I paid like 30 to 40k for him. No idea what I actually spent, but couldn't recommend him highly enough. The Hawks playbook, 
you need that. That is what, if I didn't have the Hawks playbook, I would not have completed this challenge, and there's no question about it. So, at the point guard position, I had Mr. Lamello Ball. I had the Gold Series 2 card. That's not Series 3 card, is it? No. I had the Gold Series 2 card. Now, my one had a diamond shoe on it. I made sure every card that I went with had a diamond shoe, and I also made sure... Hey, this could be mine, actually. Mm, no, it's not mine. Um, so, I upgraded... Needle Threader, Floor General, and Stop and Go. Because Lob City, Passer, and Pass Fate Maestro, who cares? But the relevant badges, I put up to gold. So Needle Threader, Floor General, and Stop and Go. Reason he's in there, he's seven, uh, seven foot, oh my god, he's six foot seven with a good wingspan. And he was just in there for steals. That was it. And he's got good speed as well. So if we could get back on a fast break, he's got that. I know his steals only 63, but getting bump steals, you don't need a steals rating. He got me a few. He did get into foul trouble in the game. Um, and was that the same diamond shoe that I have on mine? No, so that one boosts his acceleration. I had a shoe that boosted speed. I don't know what shoe it was, but uh, I had the Nike really cheap shoe. It was like a 3,000 empty Nike shoe, uh, Nike Zoom something, and it was on, I believe, three out of four players in the starting lineup. Maybe even four out of five, I don't know. Uh, it was the Nike Zoom Freak 1 PEs. So this shoe right here, dirt cheap, and I chucked that on all of my players. So the mellow at the one didn't really do anything offensively. He wasn't involved in the play at all. But somebody who was involved in the play was this absolute MVP right here, the Hamadou Diallo. Now I think this is my one. Is this my one? Does it have a boost to the speed? It does. That's definitely not the shoe I had on it. Somebody's got a Hall of Fame badge on him. Jeez, is this the shoe I used? Oh, this might. Be, this might be my one here actually. This might be my one here. So. I use Relentless Finisher, Fast Break Finisher, and Showtime on Gold. Contact Finisher does not exist on the Auction House, which is so frustrating because you'd love to be able to boost that. Diamond Shoe on him, again, just boosting that uh, that speed a little bit. Off rip though, 93 driving dunk, 84 driving layup, and 89 speed. Bearing in mind, Mike Dan totally boosts him plus 4. So he has 93 speed and 87 acceleration. He scored 69 points, lol. 69 points against Invincibles. Hamadou Diallo. He was getting posters over LeBron. He got a game winning and one poster over Invincible LeBron. And I'm not kidding. You guys are going to see it tomorrow. If you're in the stream, you know how incredible it was. Absolutely brilliant. Cannot recommend him enough. Um, absolutely carried me in that challenge. And I don't think any other card would have been able to do so. Tory Craig next up. Is this my Tory Craig? It is. Uh, Hall of Fame Tyler's Defender on Tory Craig right here. I gave him gold clamps, gold pick dodger, gold off-ball pest. The only reason he's in there is for defense. 79 perimeter, 74 interior, and 80 lateral quickness. Again, with a speed shoe. That's a really good price. I think the person who bought that, we were on stream, and they've done the challenge since then, so they've listed him up, but that's hilarious. At the four, we had Mr. Robert Covington. Again, not crazy height, but it doesn't need to be crazy height. You don't need height against these teams. You just need the right players at the right position. So, let's try and find which one mine was. My one's not actually here because my one had a diamond shoe on it. I had a lot of Hall of, uh, not a lot of Hall of Fame badges. I had a lot of gold badges on Roko. So, I had 13, I think. 14? So, I had Pickpocket, Chase Down, Clamps, Inceptor, Intimidator, Tyler's Defender, Trapper. I also had Off Ball Pest, Pick Dodger, Lightning Reflexes. Uh, slippery off ball as well. I had all of those boosted on Roko. And the reason he's in there, 83 perimeter defense, 79 interior defense, 78 boards, and 83 lateral quickness. Fantastic. Roko, really solid card. Another big man position. This was a change for the final game where I actually completed the challenge. Uh, and you're actually using Series 2, James Wiseman here. You're not using Series 1, or Series 3, sorry. Uh, let's see if we can find my one. This is my one right here, Hoff Rebound Chaser. So I managed to buy it. It was up for like 9k. I bought it for 9k and then I just sold it off to somebody in the stream for 9k as well. And they completed it with James Wiseman. So Hoff Rebound Chaser and Gold Pogo Stick. He's got 80 block, 77 interior defense, 85 offensive board, 80 defensive board, and then 70 speed and acceleration. It's not bad. Um, my one had a diamond shoe on it though, did it not? Did it not? Has this one got Hoff Rebound Chaser as well? Oh. This is my one. So there's two up with Hoff Rebound Chaser. That's mad. So this is my one because it's got the uh, diamond shoe on it. Uh, and he was, he was very, very solid. Very, very good. In the first three attempts, I was using Mo Bamba. And he just wasn't that guy, if I'm honest. He just, he just wasn't that guy. He's fouled so much. He's got a really high foul tendency. And it kind of did show. The first game of James Wiseman, we did it. 
which is just ridiculous. So as for the challenge, just come down here and let's look at the uh, the team that he had to go against. Where was it? Uh, Deny the Invincible, Wilts 100, Invincible Face-Off. So we played once last night. If you guys saw that, you'll know we gave it one attempt last night. And we didn't do too badly. One quarter, we tied at 20 all. So today, we came in and the first game, we lost 71 to 58. 71 to 58, so we lost by 13. Game two today, we lost 70 to 67. So the AI scored the same amount, but we scored nine more points. And that was a very close game, and we should have won that game realistically. And then the third game of today, the final game, 75 to 69. So they scored 69, 70, and 71 in the three games that I played today. I scored 58. Then I went to 67, then I went to 75. Oh my god, and that is what did it. So what was doing it for me? It was a lot of off-ball defense, like purely off-ball defense. And it was the give 25 Hawks play. That's it. Rinse and repeat. And I only missed five shots in the entire game. Give 25 Hawks play, going through Hamadou Diallo, going through James Wiseman, who obviously passes it to Hamadou. And it was just unstoppable. The AI just could not stop it we got five bump steals along the way um, which obviously do come in handy in the second game we played today we actually got 11 and 11 steals and the game i won i only had five because lamello got into foul trouble very very early on he had four fouls before half time so i had to ease off trying to get bump steals um but it didn't seem to matter because we still managed to get the challenge done which is just ridiculous of course for completing that challenge we got a certain somebody a certain somebody by the name of dark matter Takaful. And as I mentioned, we've already got in the club right now, but I did record it earlier. So here is Takaful coming out of the pack. All right, so it is time for the big, literally, uh, the big reveal. So let's first of all get Dark Matter Rich Jefferson, who was, of course, the final challenge that we needed. We were 29 out of 30 coming into today. We only had the gold versus invincible challenge left, and that is now done. This card itself, um, not great, doesn't have the best release, Richard Jefferson never does, which always sucks. Uh, Stats-wise and badges-wise are great, great player model and whatnot, but uh, yeah, jump shot is a bit of a letdown. Uh, but he is the last piece of the puzzle, and that puzzle came together for this guy right here. Invincible Taco Fool on Tuesday, Taco Tuesday as well, like are you kidding me? 7 foot 5, 8 foot 2 wingspan, 59 Hall of Fame badges. 99s everywhere. Let's do it. Spotlight's done. Gauntlet spotlight completed within a week. All on current gen. No speed boosting. No five out. No none of that nonsense. And we get the Celtics number 99. Taco full. There he is. Another invincible card added into the collection. The ball is hovering. It's, it's levitating. The ball is literally levitating. He's not resting it on his leg. He's just holding it. All right, Taco, you do you, bro. Uh, we're going to badge him out. We're going to have some fun with this card. I can't wait. And there he is looking absolutely ridiculously awesome. The card art is special. And, of course, as a Celtic, we can now put him next to our other Celtic, which is big boy Bill Russell. So two Celtics guys next to each other. If only we had Jason Tatum to come in at the three here. Um, that would look absolutely awesome. Uh, but there he is, everybody. So let's throw it back to the video now, where I'm sure we're going to go over the stats. Um, well, not really the stats. Go over the badges. And I think we're going to put a few Hall of Fame badges on him. So back to the video. So there he was, walking out very nicely. And since then, he's elevated just a little bit. He's rocking out with some Kobe's. We're flexing with some Kobe's. Defensive ones, so his steal and perimeter defense went from 96 to 99. And his lateral quickness went from 96 to 99 as well. So he gained nine extra stats. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but with Mike D'Antoni, he does get this sharp shooting takeover. So sharp takeover on big boy Taco Fall. Because why not? Three games of those pro difficulty challenges. 76 points. Dude. In terms of badges, we have already put Hall of Fame quick first step. I've put Gold Deadeye on him. And now we're going to put Hoff Dimer. And now we're going to put Hoff tie handles on him as well. So 62, Hoff badge, Taco Fall. My God. And then what do we want here? We want everything other than Floor General. I don't really care for Floor General. I don't think that's a badge that's uh, really needed. At this point in the game, nobody, knew, need, nobody, knew, nobody needs any boosts to uh, offensive stats. So if we don't have any of these badges, which I don't have any, pain. Uh, we'll buy those at another point in time. So... Taco Fall will have 68 Hoffs 
and eight goals. 70 badges in total for big boy Taco Fall. And, and he's absolutely exceptional. He's absolutely stupidly good. Let's just put him into which team is he in? Is he in this team? He is. It's not going to let me go in. Yep, good, great grand. That was Kawhi's spot. Sad to see Kawhi go, I'm not going to lie. Kawhi was brilliant, but he takes off from places for dunks that don't make sense. His player model starts going into contact animations before he's even got inside the three-point line. That is how ridiculous... Look at the size of him. Look at the size of him. And if you do it behind the back, you just, you're just off to the races. And he throws down every single dunk with such ferocity. It... it I, I've never seen a card move like this. Oh, I just boosted. That's disgusting. I've never seen a card move like this. Look at him. He's just angry. He wants to take down the backboard. Why do you want to do this, big fella? Shooting-wise, nice release. Same as uh, Embiid, I believe. Ugh, I might get that wrong. Same as Embiid, I think. Same as Julius Randle, I think. Hello, greens. Hey, don't mind me. Don't mind me just lating all of these. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really good in-game as well. It's definitely not a bad release by any stretch, but the behind-the-back is just... It's just on another level. I know it's the same as Bol Bol, and, you know, Bol Bol is insane with it as well. But something about this Taco Fool, and look at where he took off there. And look at the speed of the animation. He took off from here. Like, this guy puts MJ to shame. Especially, well, especially in 2K. But, like, okay, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get a dunk animation to trigger early. Look at that. I mean, that is just ridiculous. And he was doing that in game when there's like three defenders in his way he didn't care oh guys if you need any motivation just come through to the streams facebook.com slash jd crossover because every day now we're going to be using big boy taco is he going to be our center until the end of the game i mean look at this he's going to be our center until the end of the game it's possible it's possible. I mean, it's a hell of a flex having him. Not many people are going to be rocking out with this card and seven five, eight foot two wingspan can you get much better than that I don't think so. 62 half badges. The hot zones, sure. He doesn't have many. So if you're up here, no hot zone. No hot zone. No hot zone. And then in the corners, he does have a hot zone. Obviously, that, that does make a difference. It does make a difference. Even if you don't think it does, it does make a difference. But he's, he's so good anyway. He's so good anyway. At uh, this height, is that a game breaker? Is that, is that a... A thing that makes you think, oh, I really can't use this card ever. No, it is not. If you're struggling on these challenges, just keep at it. I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it. It took me about two hours to do that goals challenge. Uh, when I got that play down, give 25 hawks, as I keep saying. When I got that play down, um, yeah, I only missed five shots in the entire game. And I think one of them might have been off a fast break. And one of them might have been just like a yeet at the end of a shot clock if I had a bad possession. So... When I was actually doing the play, I only got stopped a handful of times. And uh, yeah, Hamadou Diallo was the saviour. So if, if, if there's one thing I can say, it's this card right here. 69 points, 93 driving dunk, got incredible speed. He's just that guy. And he was getting contact dunks over LeBron James, which is just on another level. So that's going to do it from me today, everybody. Tomorrow we've got a final, fifth and final Idol Series 3 player invincible card. We'll have Nikola Jokic available, but we will cash in both of these guys. We might buy the rest of the set back tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, we've got 2.7 million MT. We've got Invincible Taco Fall, Dirk selling, Kawhi selling. We're going to have 3 million MT tomorrow with Taco Fall. We're looking pretty damn good. So that is going to do it from me today, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. Stay tuned to the channel tomorrow. Highlights, Thursday, full game. If you guys want to see it and if you are still struggling. And uh, yeah, what a challenge. What a game. What a day. Thank you guys for coming through. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace.